Hey everyone, Action here. I know that in our last video I said that this playthrough was gonna be over, however one of you guys pointed out that we could roll back our Stellaris version to the previous update and as such we were able to save the game. So thank you my friend, you really saved me a lot of time here. So yeah, let's continue our latest gameplay. We recently just destroyed the contingency machine world and now we have our plan to develop our technology repeatables even further to try and defeat the 100 times crisis or even beyond. High Command wants to congratulate all of the new enlisted commanders, we are so close from reaching our mission objective, although we couldn't get it in time for the last month, just one day away and we only need 48 new commanders to be enlisted, so join us and help us fight the crisis. And of course, if you didn't know why we have rolled back the version, it was because in the previous patch you have an empire limit of how many Fallen Empire buildings you can have on your planet, and because we have tons and tons of Fallen Empire buildings, what happened is everything got completely destroyed and our economy basically crashed, so now we have at least our economy up and running a little bit. One thing that we must fix is our energy problem, because well, we are not gonna last very long if we keep losing that many energy. Now that we have destroyed one of their worlds, we can just astral jump back in our system hopefully the contingency will stop reinforcing this region and going through our borders. As I talked before, they always try to build up an empire connecting all of their planets. Since there isn't any planet nearby, they will just ignore us, I hope. Here on the Hoxelana system, we build another ring world so we can start repairing its sections to be another one of our tech worlds. Let's see if three of our battleships are more than enough to take out a contingency starbase. They're doing some good damage. Oh no, the contingency is still sending out reinforcements throughout our empire. But these are just gonna get obliterated without even standing a chance. So in this engagement we literally just lost one defensive platform and they lost an entire fleet, so we are doing just fine. Perhaps what I need to do is take out their star bases. I think let's use our juggernaut that was left behind, poor guy. He is more than capable to take out all of their star bases. And another one, our fleets haven't even come back to the star base and they sent another reinforcement just to die once again. But this time they destroyed a little more, unfortunately. Look at how beautiful our Juggernaut is. So cool the Avon ship set. Perhaps one of the best ones in my opinion. I don't know why the Juggernaut isn't firing his Exolot weapons though. He's not in range I guess. Oh no, but that's just scary. The contingency is sending one fleet. It is definitely not enough to take out the contingency fleet. So perhaps we need to retreat the Juggernaut before things get worse. Yeah, there is no shot the Juggernaut is gonna kill the Starbase before they arrive. Now that we have built a very large army force, we can utilize them to conquer the Fallen Empire worlds remaining. This is because we want to have more population to fill all of our ring world sections. Uh, of course, the contingency they had to be on our way, right? Let's cause some chaos in their systems using our infinity fleets on the other side of the galaxy. Uh, the contingency did the crazy mistake of sending out their fleet against one of our defensive systems. We're just gonna annihilate them from existence. Oh, but we are losing some expendable class battleships, nothing to worry about I guess. Now this is so trash man, the contingency arrived, they destroyed our starbase, the starbase instantly became their own starbase and it is now destroying our deep space citadels. That is kinda scuffed to be honest, but thankfully we had a fleet just nearby. Pretty easy win nonetheless. Just lost a lot of star bases there. Oh, the contingency is attacking through here. I didn't even see them coming. Perhaps the Deep Space Citadels can take care of their fleet. Yeah, <laughs> fantastic. We lost a little bit, but nothing to be worried about. I am starting to think that we actually need to destroy all of their worlds. That we can't just stick around. Because, well, they are just 
constantly being a nuisance for us and although the war of attrition is manageable at this point we currently have nine scouting fleets as i consulted using our sentry array and i really don't think that we can take them out for a very long time our economy is increasing obviously however they are slowly destroying our deep space citadels which are a main source of damage against them and if you look at this it takes one and a half years for us to just rebuild one single ion cannon and they send out fleets much quicker than that such a pretty sight our battleships just they're dancing around even construction we won the war against the fallen empire and the cox chroniclers are humiliated reducing their empire influence and we gain 100 influence which is just enough for us to pass the charter of workers right and make our way into the balance in the middle to reduce our empire size from pops by 10 percent because right now it is kind of insane our empire size it is definitely reducing our progress in the technologies by a lot here on rogue selena we finished the construction of three of our sections so let's start colonizing them and making them our next tech worlds just like that they destroyed another deep space citadel oh man they'll probably destroy our starbase and build one of theirs as well okay yeah this was a terrible engagement for us we not only lost our deep space citadel our citadel but also lost 15 battleships so this war of attrition we are maintaining it however it takes a lot of time to rebuild the star bases the fleets we can rebuild them quite quickly but the star bases are the problem High Command is now accepting applications for naval officers in higher ranks for anyone who wants to be part of something greater. Our patron now has four tiers, ranging from officer corps to sector governors. The higher the tier, the more prerogatives you will have. At the highest level, on top of having full civilian and military authority over an entire sector, you'll get access to a monthly strategic counseling that will help you improve your gameplay. If you like to know more, I will leave the link in the description down below. I mean, that's kind of bullshit. Why is our carriers in such a close range? That makes zero sense. Alright, I think the combat computers just glitched in this battle. And for that, we lost an entire fleet. Alright, we established the colonies on Roxelana Prime. So let's begin our research buildings. It is actually quite insane how many researchers we can have in this patch just because of the amount of districts and also the buildings improving their attack output are fantastic. Because in the previous patch we did not have a single building that would improve their base resource output let alone something like a plus two. I really don't understand what happened here but out of the sudden we are losing 8000 energy per month. <laughs> Literally I don't even know how that happened. Happened. I mean our ship upkeep got up by 8000 and we didn't even build a single ship so what is causing this I really don't know yeah now it is at positive 8000 <laughs> what is this man I really don't understand what happened there but okay maybe some glitch yeah, it is because we are buying five and a half thousand. I just bought it so we wouldn't crash our economy. But even so, it went from a minus eight thousand to a positive three thousand if we do not account for this monthly trade. So there is some bug happening here. I just don't know which. Another fleet that is gonna be destroyed, hopefully without many losses. But I highly doubt these battleships moving in close range. Yeah, we already lost. A little bit of them. I don't know why they fly in so close range. Just look at all of the other ships, they're pretty far away. Now that we have so many alloy production, I actually retrofitted all of our expendable class battleships into actually having defensive slots. With that, we already have, my friends, 36 million fleet power. It's kind of insane. And it only keeps getting bigger because we are researching our repeatables and our technology is even increasing due to our brand new research segments. Oh, but the contingency is doing something interesting. 
three fleets going our way. They are going for a triple attack. Okay, let's see if that's enough for breaking through the Wistro system. We reinforced our fleet a little bit and now we have 46 million fleet power. Oh man, that's going kind of insane. I can actually build more ships, but I'm currently waiting for our energy production to improve a little more because every ship we build, our upkeep increases drastically. They're even gathering more fleets currently at 22 million fleet power and one more rowing fleet is coming. However, here on our Wistro system, we have already 18 million fleet worth of ships just waiting around. Across all of our choke points, we have around 10 million. So it is very hard for the contingency to break through our systems so if you guys want to take a look at our empire i'm gonna go through a little bit of showing our planets if you want to see you can just pause at any one of them to see what we have built but basically we are going for the automaton building which are kind of insane since they provide you with 50 percent jobs amazing however they cost a lot 8000 energy credits are being spent to produce all that resources i think i'm gonna build a little more ships perhaps four more fleets is gonna cost us 157,000 alloys but we have a pretty good production our third ring world will be constructed as well so we can support even more fleets because we currently don't have a lot of them only 11,000 naval cap oh but look at this sneaky contingency they have three roaming fleets i'm gonna be honest with you i never saw the contingency use this three fleets to take care of one system they usually just send one roaming fleet but i don't know what got into their minds perhaps they saw 8 million fleet power and thought well we actually need a little more than just one roaming fleet i'm flattered contingency i'm actually flattered we will build another ring world site our fourth ring world and this way our empire will never stop growing my friends they're now thinking about whether they should go or not because we sent a reinforcement order for another 8 million worth of our ships well they decided to go in so it's gonna be one of the biggest battles in our game there they are let's see the ion cannons look so cool man they are doing such a heavy work and now our ships are going in but they are going in close range for some reason we are gonna lose some of our ships yep the rest of our fleet are still pretty far away i don't know why the reinforcements are joining in now. It's an ugly battle. We definitely had some losses here. But in the end, we managed to successfully defeat them at the cost of three of our fleets. Mm, very bad battle. Well, fellas, we have 50,000 fleet power. In our economy is slowing down a little bit, but that's nothing to worry about if we only build more ring worlds. The thing is, in the current patch, we theoretically can have an infinite amount of pops just because of the automation buildings. What this building does, it basically gives us plus 50% jobs on our planets without even requiring anything. So if you just build a ring world and set up that single building, you'll have 50% of the jobs occupied by yet oh boy i wasn't paying attention i was just managing our economy but the contingency oh they're making another sneaky attack this time at our least reinforced place of fujo however we have so many fleets we can just jump a little bit of them there and we'll be fine all right yeah we took care of one of their fleet very easily however they are probably gonna send a little more three more on the way and a fourth one here hmm interesting now i don't know if you guys notice it but our technology is already at 90,000, so we are getting pretty close to our, our goal of 100k it's kind of insane i have never had 100k before but with these planetary automation buildings it is kind of possible to have it it's very very good I'm also gonna disband one of our unification centers because so far we have produced a lot of unity however it is consuming way too much unity to ascend a single planet for instance here on cyberx alpha secondus it's costing 288,000 unity for a single tier so it was gonna take like ages 
to ascend a single planet. Therefore, we don't have many more uses for our Unity Worlds. With the change of our Unification Center for a Research World, we have 100,000 research every single month, my friends. That is the highest I have ever gotten in Stellaris. And I don't know if any of you guys have ever reached this point as well, but I would like to know. In our next video, we will be trying to reach 100 million fleet power. I don't know if that's possible due to our ship upkeep being tremendously high but yeah we are probably gonna have to deal with the contingency because my friends at some point we gotta go away from our systems now the goal for this playthrough is to defeat all the four crises right now i'm pretty confident we can take at least two or three crises however i don't know about the 300 times crisis if that's even gonna be possible for us to defeat so if you guys enjoyed today's video don't forget to leave that like button because it helps me out a lot and as always everyone i will see you guys next time